Hi, I'm Dr. Jacqueline of Elite Dental Group. April is Oral Cancer Awareness Month. So today, we are going to talk about oral cancer screening. Oral cancer is the sixth most common cancer worldwide and it is painless in the early stages. Early detection is key. Anyone can develop oral cancer. In Singapore, the most typical oral cancer patient would be someone who is older, who is male and who is Chinese. There are four main types of oral cancer. The most common type is squamous cell carcinoma, also known as a cancer of the surface mucosa. The second type is a salivary gland cancer. The next type is a lymphoma, which is a cancer of the lymph nodes. And the last type is a malignant melanoma, which is a cancer of the pigment producing cells. Oral cancer can affect different sites in the mouth. It can occur anywhere, basically. In Singapore, the most common type and site for oral cancer is the tongue. It is very important to examine not only the tongue, but hidden areas such as the floor of the mouth, where early cancers may go undetected. What causes oral cancer? Tobacco use, cigarettes, cigars, pipes, chewing tobacco or snuff, the use of vapes or e-cigarettes, betel nut chewing, excessive alcohol, excessive sun exposure, human papilloma virus or HPV, which tends to affect younger patients with no history of tobacco or alcohol use, a weakened immune system. Your dentist can perform an oral cancer screening as a part of your regular dental examination. What your dentist will use is good lighting, magnification, for example, loops, and we use our hands to feel around or to palpate different areas of the mouth. Some clinics may also have special dyes that will stick to abnormal lesions or even special lights to detect subsurface changes in the tissue. ulcers, lumps or bumps, red areas, white areas, brown areas, swollen lymph nodes, changing moles. If you have any of these signs, it's important not to panic. Ultimately, the only way to confirm a diagnosis is with a biopsy. A biopsy is when a small sample of tissue is removed and looked at under the microscope. There is an increasing rate of HPV-linked cancers, which are seen in patients who are younger and without the typical risk factors. So getting an oral cancer screening as part of your annual dental examination is a very good way to pick up any abnormal changes early so that you have the best prognosis. We start by examining the lymph nodes. There are many lymph nodes around the jaw or under the jawline and down the neck. Then we move to looking at the skin around the lips. We will examine the mucosa inside the lips on the upper and the lower. The mucosa of both cheeks on the right and the left. And then we move to the palate. We are looking for any red, white or brown patches. Once we are done with the palate, we examine the throat and the pharynx. 
then we are looking for any hard swellings of the salivary glands in the floor of the mouth and then we finish up by examining the top and both sides of the tongue. Your dentist will be concerned if a lesion has been present for more than two weeks, if it is large, if it is hard, which is what we call indurated, if the lesion is fixed or attached to underlying structures, and if you have swollen lymph nodes. These are signs that a lesion may not be benign. So see your dentist for an examination and possibly a biopsy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to share it, like, and let us know what other videos you'd like to see in the future.